Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we go behind the scenes and meet the folks behind Gallagher's Lunch Bucket. And I saute morel mushrooms with fresh asparagus. But first, it is the season. Let's search for the elusive morel mushroom. When spring has sprung, so have the morel mushrooms. Experienced morel hunter Sam Coiro took me under his wing in search of the highly prized morel mushroom. What a great day. All right, we're on the outskirts of Newcastle. Right. And my friend Sam here has agreed to take us morel mushroom hunting. And you never know if you catch one or not, right? We might be unlucky. We won't get any. Well, we Hopefully might be really we'll... lucky. I'm going to be your lucky charm today. All right. Yeah, so I got we... my lucky hat. And I got my lucky hat. <laughs> and uh, we are ready to go. So and Bill got his. These are such a treat. Bill, I right? I cannot wait. That's right. Bill's got his hat on. We'll have to show you in that later, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you got to be careful now. Oh, yeah. I'm a pro. I'm, about... I'm talking about these trees. Oh, I grew up in the woods, so. Okay. Well, they don't step in any bear trap from good. <laughs> oh gosh, I just have a feeling we're gonna find some. I just know it. Uh, I hope you're right. Do they grow in bunches? Sometime. They could be anywhere, you know. They could really be anywhere. That's what's so cool. Well, I'm last, gonna look around the base of this tree. The last two years we haven't done good. You know, I go online to figure out proper technique, where to look, the best places, and they're set around rotted trees. But I think Sam would know better than I would. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Darn You're it, welcome. Darn it, darn it. You really wanted me in <laughs> that didn't mud, fall didn't in. you? The weeds are getting high, and so, they're even going to be hard to see if they are there. Yeah. If we find cobble, I'll show you why, because they're so hard to find. Looks bad, looks bad. I could see tracks. You know somebody was here. See over here? Over the years, we always found them here. All the time. Every year we would come over, we would find them over there. Where's she at? She's coming? You know what, Sam? I think I found a shriveled up one. You did? I think I did. Did you get it? I, I took it. You took it? That's a nut casing. You know. Um, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> I got all excited. It's a walnut casing. I know, but I thought maybe, look at, see how it has like the ridges, like the morels. <laughs> and then does that look like the root? No, okay, am I really, looks, am I hallucinating? <laughs> that clearly looks like a, a walnut. <laughs> Remember, morels come up on their own schedule, not when you have time to hunt. No luck in the first area, so Sam took us to another spot for the elusive morel. I found one! <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, I'm food free! Does that mean there's more around here, Sam? How do we get this out, Sam? Do you cut uh, it? You just, you could cut it with your finger like this. Go just ahead. go way down. Yeah. Ooh. That's good. That's that good. good. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad. Me too. I am glad. Okay, so they're yellow now. That was a brighter color than the gray one you had back at the house. Right, right. That's great. Uh oh. Did you uh -oh. find some? Uh oh, I found one. Okay. Come and get it, baby. Oh, <laughs> I see two. Wait, three! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see three. You see three? One, <gasps> two, Oh and my three. gosh, look. Now these are a deeper gray. These are the, like the ones you got, right? Yeah. Okay. You did it. You did it. You did it. That, oh my gosh, that is beautiful.
mushroom hunters. We That's did good. Right. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have had any. Well, it's you a, found it. I was a little worried about going to the second area, but boy, that one, that's where we struck gold. Yeah. And now, you've got to tell me, Sam, the best way to prepare this. I told you. Get little butter. Cut them. Make sure you clean them. I know you, you might want to cut them in half because sometimes there's little creatures in there. <laughs> okay. And uh, then you let them stay in the water for a while. And you change the water a couple of times. and. All them in uh, butter, or you want to do a couple with an egg, you could do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, but I like that idea of asparagus too. The yeah, two, you know, nice spring asparagus, vegetables. Right. Or you, if you cook a steak on a grill, you might want to. Just put a little on top. Yeah. Thank you. I Great. can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, really? I, I really well, appreciate listen, I, it. I was worried. I didn't think we was going to get any. <laughs> I said, oh my. <laughs> She's going to think I'm taking her where there's no mushrooms. This is the best. And we did great. I've got a new hobby. Uh -oh. You and me, we're teaming up. <laughs> I got news for you. I'm getting old for this. No. <laughs> the Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I've got your next t-shirt idea for the magic trick. Eat, drink, celebrate, repeat. Casey, you like that? that is our slogan. Okay, like, but this is for you know what? I think we need to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> but yes, you know, when it comes to our food, we truly have the passion for bringing great quality food. We make from scratch. We support local farmers with our farm-to-table menu, and that's what we do. And then when it comes to um, our beverages, our oh. drinks, I mean, we have 41 craft beers on tap. We really have the passion for the craft beer, and we are the only place this side of the state that does wine on tap. You cannot get a better quality. And then celebrate here at Magic Tree. You know, it's all about creating a memory for people. And the, you, you see all the different celebrations, all the things that people just love to party here. And I'll tell you, eat, drink, celebrate, repeat. Cheers. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rolly Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. segment was fraught with peril. Morel mushrooms, they are very rare, very hard to find, and have a very limited season. So you saw me in the woods with Sam. We found these beautiful morels. I came back to the kitchen and I prepared them on camera. It was a great cooking segment. Well, Bill goes to edit the segment, and while he's doing it, there's a power surge at his home, and he loses all of the footage. So now I have to scramble to find more morels. And Sam Coiro is the hero because God love him, he had some that he had frozen, thank the Lord, and he had some that he had dried. So we do have morels to reshoot this cooking segment. Thank you, Sam, I owe you big time. We are going to do the exact same recipe and hopefully we will retain this footage. So, morels 
with fresh spring asparagus, a little bit of butter, a little splash of sherry, and salt and pepper to taste, and that's it. Because we do not want to hide the wonderful, nutty, sweet taste of the morel, and they are really complemented with the asparagus. So let's get started, and we will make this morel asparagus saute. Before Sam freezes the morels, he already cleans them and slices them to make sure all the debris and the bugs that may be in there are gone. But with the dried ones, he just lets these air dry. So we'll put these in just regular water and we'll get them plumped up and bring them back. But these have not been cleaned yet. So we'll just sit these in this bowl of water for a few minutes to reconstitute them and then we'll use these in the recipe too. It's been about five minutes and these have softened up nicely. My father-in-law Bob says another nice way to uh, reconstitute uh, the morels is with white wine. So we'll have to give that a try the next time I'm fortunate enough to get them. So you can see that a lot of the debris has fallen off. Let's slice these and make sure we don't have any visitors inside. And make sure they're clean. Oh, they look pretty good. Look at that. Very nice. No little friends or bugs in there. All right, I ripped that one. And then we'll just slice all of these open. And then we'll head over to the stove and start the saute. Over medium-high heat, I'm gonna drop in two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and I'll melt this down until it gets foamy, and then I'll add the mushrooms. The butter's melted, nice and foamy, and now we add the morels. And we will cook these about three to five minutes, draw out some of the juices, and then we'll add the blanched asparagus and this is a very quick, very simple, and a really easy, tasty dish. These smell amazing. We've drawn out the liquid. Much of it has evaporated, so now's a good time to add the blanched asparagus. And we're just going to stir this until everything is warmed through and the two flavors meld together. The final step is a splash of dry sherry, just to enhance the bouquet of the morels. Just a little bit in there. Oh. Finish it off with a little salt and pepper, and these are ready to be eaten soon. This is my father-in-law, Bob Tarosi, and he is also a mushroom hunter. And when he heard that we were preparing morels today, well, he made the trip in. He couldn't stay Good away. Good to see you, Bob. Say no. say no. <laughs> and what do you think? Uh, delicious, uh, perfect, as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, wonderful, and uh, thank you for doing this for me. Not you a problem. To, you have to try it first, Bob. Mm. You have to try it first. You gotta make sure you like them. What do you think, hon? Mm. Oh. These are such a treat. They're so delicate and unique, just wonderful in such a short season. They are very oh. delicate, very delicate. And I'll tell you, a really nice wine to pair with this is a dry rosé. St. Supri is making a beautiful dry rosé from Napa, and it just brings out more freshness and the spring flavor of asparagus and morels. I thank say you, you. we toast Sam Coiro for saving the day. Sam Thanks, Sam. Sam thank Coiro. you, Sam. Love you. We really appreciate it. Cheers. The complete recipe and the preparation is available on my website. Go there. Mold Casey the Malone Mold Show. The <laughs> When I want local flavor, I watch the Casey Malone Show. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. You know, every personal injury case has its own unique circumstances. 
The best advice I can give to anybody who suffered an injury is please call a lawyer. Don't try to settle the case on your own. When you contact our office, you will talk to a lawyer. And we're not going to charge you for just walking in our door or giving us a call. In fact, we won't get a fee unless your case is successful. Personal attention is what our clients deserve. It's our number one priority. Hi everybody, I'm Danny, owner and operator of Cthulhu Prime Meats, the third generation butcher shop that not only specializes in quality, but also in customer service and doing things in a new technological way. Chris here is our customer service manager. Chris, what do you think that we do differently than any other grocery store? I think we personally not only offer great product, but we can offer a great customer service experience as well. We try and treat all our customers like they were family and friends, ask how their family's doing just so they can keep in touch, and give them that customer experience that they deserve. And the nice part is we not only do that inside the store, but also on CthulhuPrimeEats.com, where you can buy a lot of our products that we carry here, whether it be grass-fed beef, organic chicken, some of our specialty burgers and bacon, those are wonderful and we're going to provide that same customer experience online as we do in store. Come see us in store or online. Make your next meal one to remember. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. My mom was always in my corner. Always pushing me to do better. I couldn't have asked for a better mother. So when she needed assisted living... I did my research. Doctors, nurses... And others with family and assisted living... They all said... Trust the name you know. Briarfield. For assisted living with top health care experts, a caring staff, and a comfortable home-like setting. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. My dad, Stephen J. Kamara, opened a jewelry store in 1948. He sold high quality jewelry at a fair price. We are keeping the family tradition alive. I'm Bob Kamara, along with my children, Rob and Brianna. Kamara's has the largest selection of diamonds and engagement rings in our area. You can trust Kamara Jewelers to offer the best value and personal service. Kamara Jewelers, locally owned by the third generation Kamara family and working on the fourth. Get real, get Kamara. In addition to county offices, Oak Hill Renaissance Place is home to Gallagher's Lunch Bucket, a cafeteria located in the lower level. It's operated by the Purple Cat and employs their developmentally disabled clients. They serve delicious lunches weekdays until 1 p.m. Jimmy Sutman is the director of Isle and Purple Cat, and you oversaw this transformation for Gallagher's Lunch Bucket. I did, I did. How long did that preparation take? Um, well, we started the process um, back in November. I, I'd say there was three months maybe of negotiating with the county, although the county was very much in support of this, uh, particularly uh, Carol. Uh, Remedio Rigetti and Jim Fortunato. I mean, there were some people that were really pumping me up and saying, let's do this. Uh, but I, I'd say, to answer your question, about three months of, you know, business negotiations and then actually a good six to seven months of rehab in the building. And what, how many clients do you have employed here that, that do the work? Because, I mean, that's a busy hub of activity, you know, behind the house. Um, really, we have about 32 folks that we rotate. Um, we have some folks that are integral to what we do, like Elijah, working the fryer. Um, you know, Elijah 
works more than he does it. You know, but some of our folks that come here, we also have a, a day program side where maybe they only want to work a couple hours a day. They get paid minimum wage no matter what. Um, it's not a sheltered setting here. Everybody gets paid at least minimum wage. Um, but it just varies. Some people want to work more than, than work on habilitation activities such as arts and crafts and gold string radio and those types of things. This is, we look at this really as a viable vocational site. You know, the push is for adults with disabilities, you know, to be working more in the community. This is kind of a hybrid of that, you know, because if someone has a bad day at their regular work site, they may be asked to go home. Here, they might just go to the hab room for a little while. Well, the salad prep area has lots of helpers. Colleen, uh, you oversee the salads that get made each day? Yes, I do. And salads are probably one of your biggest sellers, huh? Definitely. You wouldn't believe how many we sell. And, I mean, you've got a lot of helpers here. Now, today, what are we preparing? We are making a special chef salad, and we'll be putting multiple types of cheese on there after we're done with the, our initial prep. And the bacon looks great, fresh cooked here. Now tell me, what are one of your favorite salads when you're uh, working in the prep room? The chicken salads. And do you do any other duties here other than the salads? What other things uh, do you do for the uh, lunch bucket? I help out with wraps and sandwiches. Now Chastity, what is the favorite salad that you uh, produce here? Um, we usually produce um, like the salads for the chicken because we always make the chicken salad and stuff and then we do a lot of things like wraps. We make wraps too. What, you, what runs out the most uh, when, when they, they make their own fixings? Tomato. And pickles, right? Pickle. That's everybody's favorite. Well, who doesn't love a good pickle? Mm -hmm. How long have you been working down here? Just a month. And what do you think? Pretty good place? Yes. Where are you from, Chris? West side. Me too. That's the best side, buddy. Well, the cafeteria is located right here in Oak Hill, which is a county office building. And Commissioner uh, Carol Remedio Rigetti, you really were behind this collaboration, bringing Purple Cat in to run this cafeteria. Yes, it was uh, long and hard drive, <laughs> but as government, we know it's slow. And there were a lot of nonprofits, I mean, a lot of for profit that wanted to be here, but we mm -hmm. needed nonprofit to come into our building. And we worked a collaborative with uh, Jimmy Sutman and the Purple Cat. Commissioner uh, at that time McNally mm -hmm. and Commissioner Traficanti and myself and by 2013 uh, we really started the movement with Jimmy Fortnato our purchasing director and this cafeteria I mean this hospital is probably a hundred years old so when Oak Hill was purchased I believe back in 06 or 07 I mean I mean this building was old this cafeteria was in disarray. Well, you may remember Elijah from the Pearl Street Mission. Remember, he was in the kitchen there, and now he's down at uh, the lunch bucket. Boy, these look really good, the french fries. Do you want to uh, show me your technique? Just gonna try one. Little quality check, okay? Those are perfectly done. Well, you do not have to worry about cleaning or sanitation down here at the lunch bucket because if I know Tim Gilboy is on the case, you are a demon when it comes to cleaning. I mean, you're really into the details, aren't you, Timmy? Yeah. I take care of all the bases, especially the, the legs out in the cafe. Oh, yeah. I, I got them clean. And boy, I tell you, I bet you when they came through, they had no problem, because I know you do good work. What do you use for stainless steel? Follow me, I'll show you. Okay. Bring your camera with you. Oh. And this, these products are for um, the antibiotics only. You gotta keep chemicals separate. And, and this is for mopping the floors. Well, I think a lot of people, um, you know, don't understand, you know, what Purple Cat and Isle 
involved. And uh, I know uh, Gallagher's Lunch Bucket is named after your very first yeah, client. My man, Joe Gallagher. Joe Gallagher. And I mean, it is a great tribute to him. Mm -hmm. It really is. Well, thank you. And what exactly, it's not just employment, it's also residential. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah. do both sides. Yeah, I'm the director of IO and the Purple Cat. IO, which stands for Iron and String Life Enhancement. Again, Joe Gallagher comes in. Joe's the iron in that. Joe loves to iron, Joe loved to iron clothes. But, you know, that's more the residential. So we do have sites throughout Mahoning and Trumbull County um, where we provide 24-7 residential staffing. Mm -hmm. and, you know, some of the families pick their own homes. You know, we set up home-like situations for folks. Uh, Purple Cat is pretty exclusively the day programming. Um, and we do that, you know, six days a week. We even have some folks coming in and doing some work at Pearl Street. Um, but Purple Cat also, we have a farm. You know, in Coitsville, we have a farm with alpaca and goats and donkeys and rabbits and chickens. And we have a huge agriculture program out there. This is a great place to eat. The food is really good. And I mean, it, it's a win-win for yes. absolutely everybody. Yes, it is. And, and uh, I, I'm so happy. Of all the things that I've done in government, I've been here many years. This is it. This is the best, my, my best accomplishment. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.